Hello, YouTube. Today I'll be making a tutorial on how to install Windows 7 on your Mac using Bootcamp. So this will be a way that I'm using it on uh, OS X Mavericks. So essentially what you need is you need a Windows 7 installation disk and if you're using it on a Retina, you can either use one, uh, the Apple external DVD reader and burner or you can use a flash drive. So in the example today, I'll be using a disk with the ISO for Windows 7. So we start off in OS X Mavericks. We uh, quickly swap over here to our applications, and here we're going to type in Bootcamp. So currently, I have the old Bootcamp installed already in here. So we're just going to continue, and we're go I'm first going to remove Windows 7. So it's going to restore the partition as it was before. And right now, it's repartitioning the disk. So it goes back to show you guys how initially the partition was. So I want to be right back after it finishes loading. Hello, so I'm currently back and now we have our everything on a single partition. So now we have 113 gigs free. I'm going to be dedicating 70 gigabytes over to Windows 7. So now let's go back, back to Bootcamp, load up Bootcamp Assistant, click continue. And here we're going to install Windows 7 our latest version. And we're not going to create an installation disk because I already have one. So now what we have to do is we have to take our Apple DVD burner and to plug it into the computer. And now we need to take our disk with the Windows 7 ISO burned onto it. So you can either do this by using boot camera system, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I already have it in my hand, so I'm just going to take this disc and I'm going to put it inside the DVD burner here. Okay, so now I continue, install Windows 7 or a later version. I'm just going to click on continue. Now it says it cannot be found. Let's wait until it recognizes the disc. This might take a little while. Now clicking continue. And here we have the option to uh, resize our partition. So I stated that I wanted 70 gigs. This will give me 44 gigs for free on Mac OS X. Install. And now it's currently partitioning the disk. So this will create the partition with 180 gigs in respect to Mac OS X and 70 gigabytes to Windows. I'll be right back once this finishes loading. So um, here we're just doing a simple language selection. So I'm just going to select the language that I'm currently going to use this computer on and the language I'm going to be using this computer on will be English Canada, keyboard input US, next, and install now. So currently Windows 7 Ultimate is installing on my computer and I'll be back once it finishes the setup. Back again. So I'm just going to accept the terms and conditions. Click next. And let's click custom. And now we're going to select boot camp, so 65.2 gigs. And then it says it cannot. So show detail. So it needs to be formatted as an NTFS. So first thing we do is format. Okay. And now it's going to be formatting the NTFS drive. And now we click next. And currently it's installing Windows. So once it finishes this, I'll be right back. Back, so now we have to enter in the username for Windows 7 Unlimited. We just simply type in our name that we want to use with this computer. You type it in and then just press next. It may have taken a little bit of time to load up previously, but after some resets, it should be good. So now let's just not put any password. Click next. And ask me later. Eh, time doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to enter my security password and I'll be right back. Hello, so right now, Windows is preparing my desktop after entering in the credentials. And Windows 7 should eventually load up. Now when you first look at Windows 7, everything, all the elements will appear very large 
and this appears fairly unusable. But this is because we have yet to install the Apple drivers that should have compiled onto a disk or a flash drive. So now Windows will uh, restart. We're going to have to continue on our process of making Windows 7 work properly on our Macintosh computer. So here it should boot up into Windows 7. We just have to wait and then until it loads I'll be right back. So we're currently loaded, now let's close this and let's look here into our, into our um, directory and we're going to see that we indeed have 65 gigs of space on here, slightly less because it was formatted and our right click doesn't even work on our trackpad. So in order to fix this, we are going to actually um, eject our disk, no, eject our disk from our DVD drive. So to eject the disk, to get the disk, and now we're going to put in the disk with the drivers for Windows 7. Once you inject the disk with the drivers, we're going to go to Windows 7. I'm going to wait for it to load up. And we're going to wait for it to load up. And here we have it. Run setup.exe from Apple. Let's minimize this. And it's going to prepare to install. This will be the very final step we're going to have to deal with in installing Windows 7 on our Macintosh computer. So now we have to click Next. I agree with the terms and conditions. And we can install Apple Software Update. So now while it's loading, I'll be right back until after it finishes installing this Apple software. I'm back, so now this is that bootcamp installed completely. It was successfully installed. Let's see here, so let's click on finish. And then even though it hasn't done a Bluetooth device, it's ready to use. So let's click yes. And it's going to restart Windows, and I'll be back once it finishes. Actually, I'll stick around because it doesn't really take that long to load. So now that it has focused, let's just wait until Windows 7 boots up and hopefully the resolution will be at a more acceptable rating. Because this is a Retina MacBook Pro, most probably it will have a DPI scaling by default so it automatically runs on the maximum resolution possible. Here we can see it loaded properly. This is that the touchpad failed. And everything is extremely small. So yeah, now Windows 7 is fully compatible for use. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.